macOS is back. Arch-based, macOS-style distro. NiceCore 2512. ParaOS has returned. Rebuilt on Arch with a new installer, a liquid gel, visual language, and a highly tweaked KDE experience that looks a lot like macOS. In this video, we cover ParaOS's history, what's new in the NiceCore 2512 release, the user experience, performance notes, and a few issues to watch for before you install. Want the ISO? I'll show you where to download and how to test it safely. ParaOS is back, and this time it's built on Arch Linux. If you miss a macOS look and want a rolling release Linux that stays fresh without full OS reinstalls, ParaOS NiceCore is worth a look. Today we'll walk through what changed, what's new, and whether it's ready for daily use. One line history. Quick history. ParaOS began as a Mac-like Linux years ago, changed hands and names a few times, and recently has been revived under the stewardship of Alexandru Balan. The modern ParaOS swaps the old Debian Ubuntu base for Arch and a heavily customized KDE desktop. What's new in NiceCore 25.12? The latest snapshot, branded NiceCore 25.12, ships with the Linux 6.17 kernel and KDE Plasma 6.5.3, and includes a new modern installer built with Electron slash Node.js. The project is published as a rolling release, so once you install, you receive continuous updates rather than waiting for big point releases. Visual Design and UX Highlights ParaOS leans hard into a macOS-inspired aesthetic, the team calls the new visual language Liquid Gel, a glass morphism and fluid animation style, and they're developing a native desktop environment called Soda DE to refine interaction patterns. If you care about polish and visual continuity, that's the main selling point. First impressions, look and feel. The desktop greets you with a tidy dock, an app grid slash launch pad, and familiar spotlight-style search, KRunner integration. There are small utilities and brand names used in the UI that echo macOS workflows, a focused approach that helps make the transition easier for former Mac users. Apps, package management, and hardware support. Under the hood, it's Arch, so you get access to up-to-date packages. The ISO includes a small set of pre-installed, focused apps, and KDE Discover slash Flatpak is available for adding more. Minimum specs published by the project recommend at least 4 to 8 gigabytes RAM and a dual-core CPU for smooth operation. Performance testing, how it behaves. In my own tests and in early community reports, ParaOS runs smoothly for everyday tasks, and even handles some local AI tooling reasonably well on modest hardware. It's not a super light distro built for tiny netbooks, but it performs on par with a typical Arch slash KDE setup. Bugs and caveats to watch for. Two practical caveats. The installer is new and marked beta. Expect occasional rough edges. A couple of UI widgets, for example, a doc download stack, have been reported to not show files correctly. These look like small bugs that should be fixed in future updates. Also, rolling releases give fast updates but require you to follow upstream changes. Read release notes before major package upgrades, based on early reports and project status. Who is ParaOS for? ParaOS is a great choice for users who want a macOS-like desktop on Linux, prefer a rolling release so they don't reinstall every year and like KDE's flexibility. If you need absolute long-term binary stability or very conservative enterprise support, a slow-moving LTS distro might be a better fit. How to try it safely. Want to try it? Download the ISO from the official Pair OS site and test it in a VM or on spare hardware first. Back up your data before dual booting. I'll link the official download and the project pages in the description below. Wrap up. Overall verdict. ParaOS NiceCore is an attractive, well-themed take on KDE for macOS switchers, with modern components and a clear visual direction. If the team keeps polishing the installer and finishes Soda DE, 
ParaOS could become a favorite for users who value design and fluid UX. If you want, I can make an install walkthrough or a settings and video that shows how to get the macOS look exactly right. Tell me which one you want next. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.